All right. Shalom, shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Karkanash. Double honors to the other apostles, a great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever, I may, uh, wherever uh, you may be. Um, Brother Shapaya, coming at you again with another quick little lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Today's lesson, uh, as you see, the saddest thing about betrayal is that it never comes from your enemies. All right? And what I mean by this, you know, is uh, sometimes the guy that's closest to you or, you know, that's holding his shield with you eventually falls out, eventually ends up betraying, betraying Yahweh Bashem Shai and his brethren. So in a wise sense, they are enemies, you know, because they, you know, they, they never was part of the elect. All right? But... You know, they got to come in, play their role, and then fall out. This is Jude 104. For there are certain men crept in unawares um, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly man. So they was predestinated for that. Okay? Turning the grace of our power into, uh, what's that? Um, I always forget how to pronounce this word. Lashavishness. Yeah, that's just that's just the Reuben tongue twister right there. So bear with me. But uh, in denying the only Lord uh, power and our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay. So <clears throat> these are men that crept in unaware. Matter of fact, um, how does it go? This is. Um, Galatians 2 and 4. And that because of false brethren, unawares brought in, who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, that they might bring us into bondage. Now you got some guys that are fucking agents, man. All right? Whether they're agents of Satan or whether they are just, you know, paid agents from Satan. You know, whether they're doing it intentionally or whether they're doing it just through the spirit because they're a two-third, you know? The, these guys are enemies, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? But like that, that quote said, the saddest thing is that betrayal never comes from your enemy. You know why? Because Esau, he's our enemy. He's supposed to be doing all this wicked shit that uh, you see him doing. The backstab and all this and things of that nature. But it's the ones that you fight next to sometime that betrays you. Hey, what what happened in 300? That man was of the same nation and led the enemy right in, uh, right right unto them, man. All right? Now, his lot, he could have helped them out in a different way, clearing the battlefield, you know, making sure the injured was all right. And even when you're clearing the battlefield, some enemies are still alive. As you've seen in 300, hey, stab a nigga while he's, he, he's down. Fuck him up. Still get it in a little bit, you know. But, hey, his lot was to betray his own people. The same way you have in Israel. All right? These are niggards, all right, that come in. Uh, or, uh, wolves in sheep, sheep clothing, all right? They played a part, but eventually... You know, the, their, their, their true horns is shown, man. Matter of fact. First John 2019. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not of us. All right? They, <laughs> they were demons. And you know, it's spiritual. Because verse 20, I know some niggas that like this verse. They always bring this verse out. But they never read 19 because 19 cuts them. I believe it was the title of their last video. All right? But nonetheless, read 19. All right? You guys didn't continue, man. 
Uh, your, 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 your wickedness was shown. All right? It was made manifest. Just like uh, Korah and those men of that caliber. All right? Uh, uh, what was the other one? Hey, that's the saddest thing. Betrayal never comes from the enemy. Uh, and I'll end it with this. Philippians 3 and 17, Brother, brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. All right, so we're we supposed to be of the same caliber. I'm supposed to walk how you walk because we're one body. Verse 18, for many walk. So many, hey, they're going to come into this truth. They're going to have the doctrine too. But eventually they're going to fizzle out. All right, just like the, uh, the parable of the sower and the seed. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping. That's the, hey, that's the sad part about it. That they are of the enemies of the cross of Mashiach, who in, whose end in, is destruction, who God is their own belly, whose glory is their shame, who mind earthly things. And I ain't got to post no pictures. I ain't got to say no name. That scripture uh, speaks for itself, man. And you know what? We have things like that that happen in the ministry to teach us lessons, to always watch out. That's why, you know, bro, well, why we can't jo join GMS? Now, th this is a thorough, uh, um, how do you say, probation, you know? We don't lay hands suddenly on nobody. And we, we got to prove a friend because things like this happen in ministry, man. And things will continue to happen like this. You know, the, the closer we get to the end, you, you're going to have more bug outs, man. I pray to the Lord is none of you brothers. I pray to the Lord is not me. You know, Yahweh Ratazah, we are of the elect and we'll continue to uh, uh, continue to walk in this in this faith, spirit, this, this thing of ours, man. All right. So with that, hey, I pray you was edified. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Karkadash. Double honors to the other apostles. Um, great millstone salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abba, Abba.